Hi, I'm Mir Mir, the Mir Mir part of the Mir Mir Mashi Shay Shay or whatever our channel is called. And right now I'm doing very, very late. Well, it's, it's kind of late for me because I don't really remember it, either of the movies that I just saw because they were shit. But the movies I'm doing right now are Par Paranormal Activity 4 and Taken 2. So, first is Paranormal Activity because I saw that first. We saw it on Halloween. Um, me and Mashi saw it, um, cause Shay Shay was being lame and didn't want to see it. Like, she has completely valid reasons for not wanting to see it, because all of the prequels or movies leading up, leading up to this one were shit, so I completely understand why she didn't want to see it. Nobody wanted to see it with Monica, so I went. Alright, so nothing, literally nothing happened for the first hour and a half. The girl Katie... Um, and the kid. I forget his name. And then I think it shows her, her taking the kid. Yeah, yeah, because she's all evil and possessed or whatever. And so it, it does show her taking the kid. And so then we're flashed to a completely different family, which is really confusing. I was confused because I hadn't seen, like, the only some paranormal activity movie I've seen is the first one. I remember nothing happened in that one either. And so that was very disappointing. But... Uh, yeah, so anyways, just generally not a fan of the whole series, if that's what they're called. They're not called series. I'll edit this part out. Okay, and alright, so the only good part of this, about this movie is the stupid boyfriend, because he was literally, like, just obnoxious, and like, he seemed real to me, like I could, I don't know, he was just funny, like, entertaining to watch. There, there was no character development. There was nothing happening in this movie. Like, literally, there's nothing worth seeing. Um, so then the cool boyfriend dies, and that was disappointing. But, um, I mean, this is parts of that's supposed to be suspenseful when she finds out Katie's, like, stealing her little brother. I don't know. It's whatever the fuck was happening in that movie. That part wasn't even suspenseful to me. Like, I just felt it was shitty like I couldn't relate to the characters feelings like I couldn't I wasn't scared with them like I felt like I should be and the whole movie gave me motion sickness which I just can't handle it was like Cloverfield hated that movie okay so that's my review on paranormal activity it is basically that it's shit and don't see it the next movie we saw, it was Taken 2. So in the beginning, it starts out with the about Albanians, like, at a funeral from all the people that Liam Neeson killed and taken. And so then they were just made this stupid speech about how now they were going to be take some vengeance out on Liam Neeson and um, his whole family. And it was just stupid and pointless. And the whole movie was was stupid and pointless so it wasn't just the first 10 minutes like that movie could have been over in 30 minutes but it took all two hours i don't know why i don't know why liam needs no right to do this film he's so much better than that i am just so disappointed in him okay but anyways so it started out and the sound was so dumb like when people were getting hit it was just i mean i didn't feel anything i wasn't grossed out i wasn't like disturbed which in if somebody's getting punched in the face and their teeth are like flying out of their head like I want to be grossed out I, I don't want to be like oh ha 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 that's stupid next thing I'm gonna talk about is the score because it was <laughs> so dumb like they played sad music when I when I, the setting was happy or exciting or something like like Liam Neeson and his ex-wife or whatever they were talking and it was like romantic and then they kind of played the sad music and then it kind of went to dun 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 like something dangerous was gonna happen but nothing happened and it was just all like the music was played at different at the wrong times I would have preferred no music to the music that they chose for this um and then, oh, there was a funny part, though, when Maggie Grace was getting in the elevator and she was listening to her iPod, and she was listening to Real Human Being, or a Real Hero. Fuck, I can't remember what that song is called, but this, the song from Drive, that's like, um, 
and yeah I thought that was funny because the whole time I was thinking about their shitty score and I was like oh there's a, a good score the score from Drive and they're totally like I don't know I thought that was kind of ironic like after the whole real hero thing um they kind of played a part of Drive the soundtrack I'll play it on here like right now I'll play it yeah and that's what they did and I thought that was funny it kind of sounded similar I don't know if it was the same one but it sounded like that that to me and so I thought it was just kind of ironic that they were trying to take a good score because they're so so shitty um and then all right unnecessary explosions the, the whole Liam Neeson finding her, her by her throwing a grenade was so dumb. I was just like, I was cracking at them. The car chase. Oh my god, the freaking car chase. Because Maggie Gray is like, she's a 30-year-old playing a 16-year-old or whatever. And she doesn't have a license. And so she has to do this car chase through Istanbul. And it's the stupidest thing ever. And she's just like... Okay, and then, oh, also I want to point out that the sound director needs a new job. Like, he can't be a sound director because Maggie Grace was not honking, but there were honking noises. And that annoyed me because I, the whole movie, I was just so focused on how shitty the sound was and how shitty, shitty the music was. So, like, I especially noticed that. Like, I don't know if other people noticed that. It was just, it stood out to me because I was so focused on the sound because... <laughs> and that's really annoying I don't want to focus on the sound I want it the sound to like flow I want it to all go together and I don't want to have to be distracted by it um so I thought that was dumb and then um that's pretty much it my review of both those movies is that they're shit and don't pay $15 for them because it's not worth it if you want if you like really want to see those movies just wait to red box it or download it illegally right now because it's so not worth your money or I mean in in my opinion it wasn't worth my two hours of my life I just wasted a total of four hours of my life yeah, and I'm sorry that I hated these movies. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys thought of them. Maybe you were a Paranormal Activity fan throughout the whole four of them. And I, I only saw the first and the last one, which, oh my god, I hope that's the last one. I mean, it's probably not going to be the last one because they'll probably cash in on it next year. It's a big franchise. They can do that. I mean, people obviously go and spend their money on this shit. So they probably will just do another one just because they can. Um, leave your comments down there i'd really like to know what you guys thought of the movies not of me because i know you guys all hate me you guys like monica and Jalen, which is fine i'm the annoying one and i have a whiny voice and i'm sorry i'm sick i'm getting over a cold so i'm gonna try it. hopefully my voice will be louder or like less whiny than in the next review as well so and i'll probably be with the other two next time so at least they'll give you some comedy i know i'm not funny but thanks for watching anyway